I want to tell you a really funny story. How much time do we have here now, anyway? You're fine. Okay, I'm going to tell you a really funny story. <laughs> Will Chamberlain and I became very good friends, okay? And he wrote a book, and he was, I think he mentioned 20,000 something. Something like that, yeah. Somewhere in that neighborhood. Well, I know he can't count very well. But, uh, <laughs> but anyway, he had held out, and we were playing at Kansas City Royals now, who are the Kansas City, I mean, the uh, Sacramento Kings. And he'd held out, and so, hell, I didn't think he was going to be there. I get a call in my room about 6.30, and I always ate very early, particularly on the road. And here's it's Wilt. He said, I said, when the hell are you? And he says, I said, when are you, are you going to play or not? He said, yeah, I'm, I'm going to play. He said, I'm here in Kansas City. I said, really? He said, yeah, come on up to the room for dinner. I said, I've already eaten, but I'll come up and see how you're doing, okay? So I go up to the room, and um, I open the door. He's got a towel tied around his neck like this, okay? He's got a pair of basketball shorts on. That's all he had on. And I walked in there, and there's a table about from there to there. And there's this barbecue house in Kansas City, very famous, Gates, okay? And it's in a, it's in a um, minority area, and we all went there, okay? So I walk in there, and I look around, and I said, oh, my God. God, I said, what is this guy doing? Um, there were three racks of, ri of ribs, okay? And I'm telling you, ribs down there are like this long. <laughs> there were six, seven up, so he drank seven up like it was water, okay? And there were six of them in ice. There was a two one-pound brisket sandwiches. There was coleslaw. There was potato salad. There were, there were barbecued beans. Um, barbecued chicken. I mean, I'm sitting there and I said to myself, oh my God, what's going to happen here tonight? Now, he hasn't even worked out at all. And so I walk in there and here he is with, let's say, he's you know, big, tall. He looked taller than he really was because he was all legs, okay? And I walk in there and um, Wilt stuttered a little bit, okay? And, and um, <laughs> he starts eating. He said, won't you have something? I, I said, well, I said, you got a knife, and you got a knife. So I cut myself a little piece of this brisket sandwich. By the way, it's great. I could hardly eat this brisket sandwich. And by the time we are in there, there wasn't much food left on this table. And I think there's about half of one of these 7-Ups left. I said, how in the world? Have you been working out? Nope. I said, how in the hell are you going to play tomorrow night? I said, there's no way you can play. Well, he goes out. Gets 25 rebounds. And when I left there that night, I got up, and this towel, instead of kind of sleek, it looked like it was pregnant. Okay? <laughs> I have no idea how a man could eat that much, but drink six bottles of seven up like this. I mean, it was the most, it's like, you see those, see those old movies where these guys are gnawing bones? But there's one other funny one about his eating, too. Um, you know, most players, I could not eat. I, I'd get sick, okay? I had to eat at about 2.30 or otherwise I'd be sick or so much adrenaline run through your body. And Wilt would come to the games, and he came to the games, and here, here's how he got dressed, okay? He never taped his ankles. He'd put one pair of socks on, everyone else played with two. He'd put his clothes on, and he'd take two... Um, He'd take two band-aids and put them over his nipples. Um, but he sweat so much, okay? And so we had a big meeting the night before in, in, in Atlanta. About like we were playing Atlanta Hawks. And, and our coach was, our general manager was coming giving us hell because we lost a couple games we shouldn't have lost. And so we go out and we kick Atlanta's fanny. And he said the last thing he said that night, he says, I don't want anyone eating in the locker room before the games. And especially hot dogs, okay? Next night, we're in Cleveland. He said, it's going to be a fine if you do this. So next night in Cleveland, I see Wilt talking to the ball boy. And so pretty soon, the ball boy comes in. He's got six hot dogs. <laughs> well, about that time, the general manager, who was my co, who recruited me in college, 
the general manager, he walks in and he looks at Will and Will said, hey, Fred, I got you a couple hot dogs. And so, <laughs> But he was, he was really, I really liked him, okay, I really did. And uh, he helped prolong my career. Uh, I think I helped prolong his career. Um, helped us win our only championship. And the only sad thing about that, someone I admired and still admire, Elgin Baylor, really wasn't part of it. And I thought it was one of the saddest things ever. But um, it was one of those magical years. And um, he was such a huge part of that. Uh, us winning that year, but he was he was a character. Uh, there's nothing he did. He he knew who he knew who the name of the guy was. The, the uh, what the tomb of the unknown soldier. He knew the guy's name. I promise you. I mean, he knew everything. He thought he did. <laughs> I have. He said he once said he drove from New York City to San Francisco in 23 hours. <laughs> So he knew he exaggerates a lot. Hello everyone, I spend a lot of time trying to get you guys nice videos, so please subscribe to this page, and please subscribe to my second page. The link to my second page is in the description section. Thank you.